Scary and massive, what's going on? It's your girl D with 8th House Energy. Here to bring you your uh, June 2020, what are their true intentions reading. I hope all is well with the Cancerian Massive. I hope you guys are at peace and doing what is uh, good for you and in good vibes and good energy. I do appreciate all the love and support you show to the channel. Thank you so much for all that, that energy you bring. I do want to let you know that this is a general reading for Cancer, so everything will not resonate with every Cancer or every Cancer placement that you have in your chart because we all have Cancer in our chart. We all have every sign in our chart. So um, just keep in mind it may not resonate, okay? If it doesn't, then just leave it. If it does, take what resonates. Leave the rest for somebody else. It might be for another cancer. Um, if you uh, need a personal reading, my information's in the box below. And all throughout Gemini season, I am offering 50% off of readings numbers 2, 3, and 4. Uh, if you have a Gemini North Node, if you are a Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in Gemini, Okay, you'll see if you look in the box below, I offer natal chart analysis, I offer compatibility analysis, and then at the bottom are the list of the five tarot card readings I offer. Again, numbers two, three, and four are 50% off if you have a Gemini North Node, a Gemini Ascending Sign, a Gemini Sun, Moon, or Venus. Okay, all throughout Gemini season. So this reading that I'm going to do for you is a what are their true intentions reading. Uh, this reading is about someone who's coming your way, whether it's someone from the past or someone new. Um, if you don't have someone from the past coming and you don't have someone new coming, then this may not resonate with you, okay? Again, take what resonates, leave the rest. If this is a cross watch you're watching, you may need to switch the roles. I mean, hey, Cancer may even need to switch the roles. Whatever it is, do what you need to do, but don't do too much because it's a general read. So um, we just want to find out what this person's true intentions are uh, uh, with you and what it is. That, what the hell do they want? Okay, <laughs> so that's what I should name the title of this video. What the hell do they want? But at any rate, on a serious note, overall energy for the reading is going to be the judgment energy, judgment, Pluto energy. Okay, Pluto energy. This is energy that makes people, this is like compulsive energy. You cannot handle but you cannot hold back this type of energy. It is going to come to the forefront of your mind. Um, and it, it's gonna, you're going to act out in the manner. Judgment also represents to me um, the universe saying to you, okay, I'm shining the spotlight on you because you need to really look at what you did. In a, per, in a perspective of looking at your morals, this is something that um, aligns with your moral integrity, your morals, your integrity, your values, how you see yourself. Is this something that you did? Does that align with what, who you truly are? And if it doesn't, then you need to address that issue. Okay? This also talks about, you know, the good angel on one shoulder, the, the devil on the other shoulder, and you trying to decide what you're going to do. This is a judgment situation that it's going to affect how people look at you in reference to your morals and values. Okay? So we got judgment here. This could also represent court too. You know, a judgment as in court proceedings. So some of you may be in court and you may be waiting on a judgment. So let's see what's popping, Cancer. Oh, I should just tell you the cards. We got the Knight of Pentacles. This is the overall um, connection between you and this person. The overall situation that's going on. Virgo energy. How this person feels about the situation itself is the uh, Six of Cups in reverse. Scorpio energy. How this person feels about you deep down, Four of Wands, Aries energy. When you communicate with this person, um, whether you have already run into them or whether they're coming, the communication between you two, can you believe what this person is saying? Are they going to actually walk the talk? We have that clarified with Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. If you guys did reconnect or you decided to move forward and see what's going on with this person, what external factors would keep you guys from being in a positive scenario, situation, relationship? We have the high priestess energy, major arcana, moon energy. Okay, this is your energy for me. Now, say you guys did decide to work things out and, you know, six to eight weeks later, where would the situation be? We have the world card in reverse, major arcana, Saturn energy, okay? So some lessons to be learned still, some unresolved uh, issues here. 
okay some unfinished business so you and this person could be taking things really slow right now okay the connection between you two all right there's a judgment the judgment energy is here so someone is really looking at things from okay is this something that aligns with what I want to do and how I want to do things the way that I behave or the way that I'm, I'm going to behave is this something that truly aligns with me and the overall best interest for me and whomever involved that type of energy here is with judgment so this person here they're taking things very slow okay with the um, Knight of Pentacles they're being very careful all right they're being very careful because they could be looking at okay well how does cancer look at me how does cancer see me you know and so what they're doing is they're taking their time and being very careful with how they approach you how they communicate with you um, and um, you know they may just be in a situation where it's like okay well let's just take things very slow how they feel about the situation overall is the six of cups in reverse they could be feeling like you know they may have unrealistic expectations about the situation they're trying to decide what they want to do with you is what I'm getting here so they could be approaching approaching you very cautiously with the six of with this knight of pentacles energy and with the six of cups them looking at the situation as far as the overall situation how they feel they could be feeling as if okay maybe I'm being naive or you know I don't want to look at like I'm being naive or maybe they just feel like they want to leave this situation in the past which could be why you know maybe things are going slow with you and this person because now they're judging the situation and looking at what's going on how they feel about you deep down, with you know whether they're going to tell you or not, is the Four of Wands energy. This is Aries energy. Now this could be someone who, because we got the Six of Cups and we got the Four of Wands here, this could be someone that you have a past life connection with. And they may recognize that and they may not be telling you that. And this is what they could be also dealing with as far as judgment. Okay, Judgment is ruled by Pluto. Pluto is subconscious energy. Subconscious energy consists of energy from past lives, things that you may not know. Subconscious, you got to dig and sift through that to find out what's going on. And so for a lot of you, they realize that you are a past life connection with them. Um, you could be a karmic soulmate. So this person could be looking at you as a, okay, this is not someone I should be in a relationship with. This could just be a karmic situation where this is somebody I'm with and I need to learn a lesson from. But we'll clarify and find that out. Now, the communications with you and this person, when they're communicating with you or when they begin to communicate with you, can you rely on them saying what is truly what's in their heart? Are they? Can you trust them? Are they going to walk the talk? They may say they're going to do things, but are they going to do it? We have that clarified with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Now, the Ten of Swords in reverse is an energy, uh, it's a Gemini energy, okay? This is an energy of someone taking a break finally stepping away from a situation or lightening up a situation. And I get that very strongly with these two cards here. This person is like taking a step back and really looking at this situation. And trying to make the best decision. Now, say they, you know, you guys still moving around, you're still moving along very slowly, not rushing into anything. What external factors would keep you and this person from, you know, connecting and gelling and, you know, maybe taking things to the next level? We have a major arcana here, and it's the high priestess, the moon energy. So this could be the high priestess. She could be someone who is, um, well, a high priestess, someone who practices the arts. OK, um, she could be someone who um, knows something intuitively. And as a result of her intuitive knowing, this could be what is keeping you guys from moving forward together. She may know something, um, receive a download because see, this is all inner, this is all karmic energy. All of this right here is is um, supernatural energy here. Okay, the four of wands, the six of so six of cups reverse, the judgment energy, and the high priestess. All of this is like subconscious energy. Okay, all of it is. Plutonian energy subconscious it deals with the psychic realm all of this is so this person could be coming to a conclusion that you are either a karmic partner a past life partner or you are a twin flame like this is how they're looking at it okay 
the person is or you may be looking at this but this is what would keep you guys from working things out with external factors okay so it could be tarot card readers you could be watching tarot card readers and maybe um misunderstanding what they're saying or taking you know taking things out of context um or you may visit a tarot card reader and get a reading and that reading may tell you that this is someone that you may not want to be with for whatever reason what i'm also getting to is that you know this person could be someone who there could be religious differences between you and this person. They may not believe in the things you believe in and you may not believe in the things that they believe in. So these could be the external factors that could keep you people from working things out. Now say you did get past all of that and um, where would you guys be six to eight weeks from now? We have the world card, another major arcana, but it's in reverse. So this is telling me that there would be more lessons to learn about the situation. Uh, the world card in reverse represents um, the fact that um, there's unfinished business, okay? So this could be a karmic situation where you still have unfinished uh, lessons to learn with this person. This is very deep, very deep. Um, very deep, Cancer. Let's see what's going on. Because, you know, th things can change up once we start clarifying, but this is what I'm picking up. This is what my two intuitive energies are picking up with this reading. So let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles. All right, this person is being very cautious around you, very careful around you. Yeah, that clarified with the faux card in reverse. Let me show you the faux card upright. So this person is trying to confirm, like with the faux, with the faux card upright, they're watching you. Okay, they're trying to confirm if they can trust you or not. They're trying to look for any clues based on your behavior, your interaction, that will help them to make this judgment, that this decision that they're going to make. All right. So when this card is in reverse, they may not be looking at that information anymore. Or they may have, they may feel like, okay, I can proceed forward. As a matter of fact, let's just take a look at these cards here and see what's up. So we have the Judgment Energy, the Two of Cups Reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, Temperance in Reverse, and the Six of Swords. So this person could very well be deciding, or you could be deciding when this person comes to you, that you may not want to move forward with them, with the Two of Cups in Reverse. You may no longer have an interest in that. Um... Or they could be concerned that, you know, some of you may have um, someone else that you're involved with. They could be having concerns about moving forward with you because maybe they feel that you're still dealing with the person that you uh, were dealing with in the past. Um, could be somebody that you were married to. They may feel like you're still dealing with your ex. Um, they may feel like you're still dealing with your, you know, your, your person. If you have children by this person, because the Queen of Pentacles could be someone you were married to and or someone you have children with. So that energy... So they may feel like you're still dating your, um, you know, your. if it wasn't a marriage, your baby's father or your baby's mother. They may still feel like you're dating your ex-husband, your ex-wife, or, you know, you guys may be separated, but you're still legally married. They may feel you dibble and dabbling with this person. And so with the temperance and reverse energy, it's like this is, this is them feeling as if they can't put their finger on it, their emotions. Like they, they could be, um, hmm. Temperance in reverse, this is someone who's not emotionally balanced. They don't have their emotions. They could be obsessed or they could just be not showing you any emotion at all and ready to walk away with the Six of Swords. But we're going to look at that once we clarify these cards here. So now as far as this person's um, overall in understanding or energy in reference to this situation, we have the Six of Cups reverse. This could represent them feeling like they may have unrealistic expectations they could be looking at this as if they were being naive in this situation and they may want to let it go we have that clarified with malady so yeah this situation and see this is interesting because we have the uh, temperance in reverse so this situation could just have this person all up in their head and they're just totally um off as far as what to expect, what, what, what's going on, which is why they have to make a judgment call because this is something that could really be throwing them off. They just can't figure it out. For some of you, um, this person, you know, dealing with you could be making them physically sick as well. See, this person may not be well also. Um, 
I'm, I'm, I'm just getting that vibe here. Now, as far as how this person feels about you deep down, we have the Four of Wands energy. All right, we have that clarified with wedding. So this person deep down wants to be with you. They want to marry you. They want to be in a relationship with you because this Four of Wands represents that. Or they may feel like on a spiritual tip, they may feel like you guys are were married in a past life. Which is why there's this intense connection between you two, which could be why this is literally driving this person crazy with this subconscious energy of Pluto pulling them forward like you have to, you know, you have to decide on something. You have to decide what you're going to do about the situation. This person here. Now, you guys could be talking and you're just trying to figure out, okay, can I trust this person? Is this person going to walk their talk? We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. This person is maybe saying that they're going to walk away. They're saying that they may want to let this go. We have that clarified with consistency, but it's in reverse. So this person could be saying one minute they want to walk away, but their actions could be showing something different. So they're very inconsistent. If you guys decided to continue to con communicate with each other, what uh, influences, what external influences would keep you guys from, um, you know, connecting and moving forward? We have the high priestess energy. Yeah, that clarified by death. Hmm. Death represents transformation. The transformation could be a change of mindset. Somebody could see something and they ch it changes their whole mindset about the situation. And so it, what it does is it, it, it brings a change. I don't know if this change is going to be them leaving you or, you know, or you leaving them. But there's definitely a change here. There's some higher knowledge or higher understanding that's going on here. Now, say you guys decided to continue moving forward. Six to eight weeks from now, what would happen? We have the world card in reverse. There's some unfinished lessons, unfinished karmic business between you and this person. We have that clarified with the Constellation card in reverse. Let me show you it upright. A Constellation in reverse to me means it's like you can't explain it. Like you or this person, you can't explain it. You can't explain the connection with this person. And I'm getting it's because you guys were connected in a past life. That's what I'm getting. Very strongly. All right, let's clarify this uh, foe in reverse here because you're taking things slow. You know, this person is slowed down with you as far as their communication with you. They're taking things slow with you now. Uh, the foe in reverse here is, um, you know, the fact that this person is not being sneaky. They're not, you know, like prying or trying to watch and figure out what's going on with you. They just want to stop with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It's like this person is just not going to move forward. It's like they keep going back and forth where if they want to go forward or if they don't. Or they just take two steps and then they take one step back. I'm getting that with the consistency card in reverse as well. And then we have the star card. Okay, major arcana Aquarius energy. This person could still be healing from, um, there was a lot here that went on. Okay, in reference to this person coming to this judgment scenario here. Um, it could have been a lot that went on with this relationship. Okay, and this is why we have the Malade card here. Um, this person could be just worn out and exhausted from the situation. One second, Cancer. One second. So we left off with the star card here. So this person, like I said, they could be healing for this situation or they could have hope and faith in this situation. They could be um, in a situation or at a point where and this is overall how you both feel. You know, there may be some faith. In this relationship there may be some hope you know somebody may be um, looking out to see okay well you know what is if a miracle happens it happens this is an energy of someone who's not pushing they're just gonna let what be they're just gonna let it be you know um, but this could also represent someone who is healing from what went on in the relationship as well because the star card does represent healing Okay, um, this could also be someone who is well known by a lot of people. Okay, and they could be slowing down the connection or the communication because, you know, maybe um, they're in a situation where they're becoming more known. And so, you know, they may not be interested in, 
moving forward as quickly as they used to. The star card could also represent um, ast astrology too. Um, we got a lot of spiritual energy going on in this reading. Let's take a look at how this person feels about you overall. They could feel, I'm getting here with the Six of Cups in reverse and the Malayday card. They feel that, yeah, see here's the Six of Cups, clarify the Six of Cups. They do feel that this is a past life connection with you. And then we have the Chariot. But it looks like they're feeling like they want to move forward or move on from it. Okay, this is your energy, Cancer. All right, this is moving forward with head and heart aligned. So it's like they there was a lot that went on with this person in reference to what they went through in the situation. Um, as far as them having unrealistic expectations or feeling naive, there was some suffering that went on with this person, okay, which is why they may be trying to heal. They may have felt naive in the situation. They may have felt taken advantage of, maybe because the relationship is going, uh, it's going really slow. Maybe it's not going anywhere. And this person is having... They used to have faith in the situation, and now they don't anymore with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Star card. So this is telling me they no longer have faith in it. Now, as far as how they feel about you deep down, we have the Four of Wands, and then we have the Wedding. Clarify with the Three of Wands energy. Further clarified with the Four of Swords. So this person could feel like you were um, a past life connection with them, a serious past life connection. Because we have the four swords here, sleep. That represents sleeping, resting. And when someone's sleeping, resting, meditating. So they could have come up with this, um, you know, they may have had dreams about this. But with the three of wands here, they're just trying to figure out what to do. They really just don't know what this is or what to do. Is what I'm getting strongly. Hence us going back to this overall energy of the judgment, them trying to make a decision. Now, as far as what they tell you and communicate with you, we have the Ten of Swords reverse and the Consistency card in reverse. We have that clarified with the Three of Cups reverse. Further clarified with the High Priestess energy showing up twice in this reading. Both upright. Yeah, you guys are definitely connected. You could very well be karmics or twin flames. One or the other. One or the other. Um, so they're ready to let this situation go with the Ten of Swords energy. Okay? Um, but they're inconsistent about it. With the Three of Cups in reverse here, they're just feeling like they're not supported or there's no support for this situation. Um... They're feeling like they're, they're the ones who realize what's going on with this connection and you don't. It's like they see it, they know it, they know that you're the one for them. But it's like, okay, so this makes sense now. The relationship has been going really slow. It has not been progressing. Um, and this person is just like, what the hell? You know, what's going on? Why doesn't this person see this divine connection? So one person is asleep and one person is woke. Wow. Okay. So, as the relationship goes on, what external factors would keep you all from taking things to the next level? Death. Death mean to me, that's sleep. Again, so one person is totally sleep to the connection. We have the Page of Cups here. And we have the Three of Swords. So, yeah, because this person is sleep to the connection... They're not extending the love connection here. It's like it's just staying at a page stage when it comes to love. Ooh, this is deep, Cancer. Ooh, this is deep. And it's heartbreaking for one of you or for this other person. It's heartbreaking for them. It's because the relationship is not going past the night stage or the page stage. It keep is going back and forth between the night and the page stage. It never gets to the level that it's supposed to get to. Six to eight weeks from now, what's going to be going on with you two? We have the world card in reverse, unfinished business, because the karmic lesson is not tied up yet. The reason why, oh, and then we have that clarified with consolation. Further clarified with the knight of swords energy. 
further clarify with the magician in reverse. Mm. So, somebody's not telling the truth about the situation. I'm getting that both of you know that this is your connection, but somebody is trying to sabotage this in some way, shape, or form. I don't know if it's you, Cancer, who realizes this, but you're trying to sabotage it um, and you're not speaking up about it because we have the Knight, the King of Swords, and the Magician in reverse. Or what this could be is somebody could be doing some magic here, okay? Um, trying to keep this person in trap, making this person think that this is a karmic or a twin flame, but it really is not. Woo, this is deep as hell. So this is somebody who could be coming back from your past. This is why we have the Malayday card here. Yeah, somebody's... Okay, so... <clears throat> so one person is under the illusion that... Okay, has been under the illusion for a while that this is my, this is my twin flame. This is my partner. This is my divine masculine and my divine feminine. But in reality, what's been going on is... There's somebody who's been manipulating the situation, making this person, because there's too much, there's too many, there's too much subconscious energy. There's too much um, six and seven sense energy here. And what I'm getting is somebody has been manipulating someone. They've been, they've been manipulating them, making them think or luring them and keeping them away from their true twin flame, their true divine masculine. They've been sitting in as the imposter. And this person may realize that now and they're backing up from the relationship. Ooh, oh my God. Yeah, because we got the two of cups reversed. This person is like realizing, okay, this is not the one for me. We got the queen of pentacles energy. We got temperance in reverse here. See, temperance in reverse, the magician in reverse. We got the um, high priestess energy and judgment. High priestess showing up twice. See, somebody's tapping into... Somebody's been playing with somebody. Yeah. And they're not done yet. They're not done with the world card in reverse. They're not done. Until this person wakes up and realizes that this person is not their um, divine masculine or their twin flame... This is going to continue to go on. Somebody's got to cut this cord. Maybe somebody did try to cut the cord with the death energy here. Someone tried to cut that energetic cord, that energetic tie, with the, with the, maybe with the Ten of Swords reverse. Okay, because we got the High Priestess here. Yeah, someone tried to cut that tie. But I, maybe they didn't cut it enough. Ooh, this is so deep, Cancer. I didn't expect to get this deep with this. Let me get you some advice with this person here. Ciao. Somebody was definitely doing some dark magic to keep you around. Making you think that, that, you, that they are your twin flame. That they are the one you're supposed to be with. But in reality, they were just doing dark magic on you to make you believe this. So you need to be careful of this person from your past. It could be somebody that you have children with coming back. And so with this Knight of Pentacles, they could just be sitting here watching. Watching your every move to see how you're going to respond, to see how you're going to react. Yeah, this is calculated shit here. Don't dismiss the red flags, okay? Don't do it. Don't dismiss it. You know what's going on. If you need to get a reading, then you need to get a reading. But I'm getting here that somebody's manipulating, been manipulating you, making you think that, they're their, that you're their true karmic and it's not. See, somebody's been giving too much to the situation. This person's been taking advantage of you. You've been doing way too much in this situation. And it's because this person is manipulating you. Vulnerability. You are vulnerable to this person. Okay, you could have been very open to this person, letting them know what's going on. And see, that's how they got the upper hand. What I tell you? I can't make this up. I cannot. 
this person remembers you from a past life. They know you their past life lover. Whether they went and got a reading or whether they practice in the um in the uh dark arts themselves, they know you're their past life lover. And they've been putting you under a spell to hold you to them, to bind you to them. And if you don't wake up from it, it's gonna continue to go on. The only way that this would end is with the high priestess energy and the death, you bring an end to it. And you sever the tie with the three of swords. That's the only way it's going to come to an end. Patience. See, it's going to be revealed to you in divine timing. I guess it's just not right now, which is why we still got the world card here in reverse. Different pages. Yeah, see, this person is up to no good. So, Cancer, you need to be careful of this person who's coming back to you. This person who you think is your divine partner or that you've been with. Someone you've been with. It's not someone new. It's not someone recent. It's someone you may have kids with. It's someone you may have been married to. Um, but you've been with this person for a while here. And your feelings are starting to change about this person. This is also somebody who um, won't let you go. Think about that. If you know that something's wrong and you're trying to get away and you can't for whatever reason, it's because this person is binding you to them. They're doing magic. I would suggest you see a high priestess. I would suggest you reach out for a reading. Okay? I love you guys and um, I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out, Cancer.